Hi guys, DIY Mark. I want to talk today about an important piece of safety gear that often goes overlooked. I'm talking about those disposable face filters we often call dust masks. I've lined up four different disposable respirators to test that range in price and performance. And I make the distinction between dust mask and respirator, and although we use the two terms interchangeably, there is a big difference. They all look basically the same, but dust masks are really only for nuisance dust, like sweeping and mowing the lawn. They lack the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health, or NIOSH certification, and they don't protect your lungs safely from particles like concrete and wood dust. In contrast, a respirator mask is certified by NIOSH, and you can easily tell because the rating must be printed directly on the mask. NIOSH approved masks are categorized for the protection they provide and the material you'll be encountering with the mask. For this test, I'm looking at four different N95 masks from Milwaukee, FastCap, 3M, and SafetyWorks. N95 masks are the most common type of NIOSH mask you'll find at home centers and lumber yards. But be careful, they are often displayed right next to the unrated nuisance dust masks. All of the masks I'm testing are N95 rated and are designed to protect you against particles only. They will filter 95% of particles, 0.3 microns and larger, hence the name N95. Let's first look at the Safety Works mask. It's a typical cup and strap design. This knockoff brand is the cheapest of all the masks in this test. A two pack at my local hardware store was just $249. And actually, it was less expensive than some of those unrated nuisance masks. The problem with this mask was fit. When comfortably placed on my face, the chin area was wide open. And when I slid the mask up to get a good chin fit, it slid underneath my safety glasses and fogged them immediately. This is a common issue I've found with masks. I'm often faced with the decision, do I want to see or do I want clean air? Definitely not a good trade-off. The next mask is the 3M 8511 Pro. It looks nearly identical, but it adds a center-mounted exhale valve that is supposed to limit problems like fogging and overheating. This 3M version is nearly double the cost of the Safety Works mask, costing $21 for 10 masks. Again, the challenge was fit and fogging. At rest, the 3M Pro mask fit well with no gaps and did not fog my glasses. But as I started doing work like lifting stuff and my breath rate increased, my glasses began to fog. The next mask I tried was the FastCap MXV Dust Mask. These are priced at just 14 bucks for 10 masks, which puts the cost between the two other masks. The design is very similar to the 3M mask and the mask also features a one-way exhale valve. But FastCap added a small piece of foam to the inside nose bridge area. It added a bit of comfort and it helped soak up sweat, so it stayed in place longer. But it still leaked along the bottom of the mask and it was very apparent once you removed the mask after working in dusty conditions. The bottom inside of the mask was soiled with dust. I should have mentioned at the top of this video, all of my observations are purely subjective. And my face is obviously different from your face. And different from my coworker who has even more challenges with facial hair. Fit and where the mask leaks is probably going to be a bit different with every person. As they say, your mileage may vary. That said, when I got my hands on these new Milwaukee valved respirators, it was clear to me that other people have complained about the same issues. Milwaukee has made a number of subtle design changes that really make a big difference. Like the 3M 8511 and the FastCap MXV, it incorporates a one-way exhale valve. But inside of the mask is noticeably different. The entire perimeter has a one-inch wide closed cell foam gasket. And that gasket folds back on the face to form a tighter seal against your skin.
The other simple little change that makes a big difference is the Milwaukee has an adjustable length straps. There's a small plastic ferrule around the elastic that allows you to make quick adjustments, pulling it tighter against your face or releasing it to allow it to hang around your neck when you're taking a break. I know I'm beginning to sound like a Milwaukee commercial, so let me level things off a bit. These Milwaukee masks are the most expensive. You are going to pay 35 bucks for 10 masks to get all those advantages. Keep in mind, all of these masks are for particulates only. They will not offer any protection against chemicals. You'll need to choose an organic vapor respirator when you're spraying finish or using nasty strippers to properly protect your lungs. Ironically, at the time of this video, N95 masks were very hard to find. With the coronavirus concerns, many of the stores I talked to said they were not getting their shipments of the mask or received just a fraction of what they requested. These kinds of episodes can kind of create a run on the bank, so to speak, and make it very difficult for those of us who need masks to do our daily jobs. I rank the Milwaukee a solid four stars, with the others trailing behind. Only the price of the Milwaukee mask would give reason to pause. And I hope this inspires the other manufacturers to continue to improve their offerings and leapfrog the technology so that all of us that make dust for a living can benefit. I hope this was helpful and it gives you a bit more information to work with. I'll see you next time and thanks for watching.